You're watching Chew in the Cud with Mist Kinsman and Mike Benyon Rome. And uh, that was the Polaroid inside of the fan letter. And that's why I came back. Oh, hello. Welcome to Chewing the Cuds. Are you uh, ready for the show? Am I ready? I'm, I'm warmed. It is quite warm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I've been warmed. Warmed and warmed. warmed. Slightly warmed. Oh, with the spirit of... Gin. Joy. Usually. Gin. At this time of day. Disgraceful, quite frankly. What have you got for us today, actually? Well... I've got a story about something not to give to yourself first thing in the morning. And then we're going to do something that's slightly interesting, that's not that science, that is. And we even have a game to play in our game of the week. But on screen now, you can see our social media contact info. Just look for at the Cud TV. And as the names of people who have dropped us a line on our social media go along the bottom of the screen, it's time for Mist and the Showbiz. <laughs> Right, uh, so I have some celebrity stories. Are you interested in hearing about a bunch of desperate pussies? No. Well, you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you remember the Tiger King? Tiger King? Yeah. I have to do it for the film because it's not here. It's just an appalling impression. Yeah, yeah. I'm aware of, it, uh, of Joe Mundanado. <laughs> That's exactly the fella. Now... He got put in prison um, for attempting murder on uh, Carol Baskin. Planning a murder. Yes. But <laughs> you can't really blame her. I mean, she was cuckoo. But... Nobody in those shows is sane. Nobody in those shows is sane. But he did hurt a lot of animals quite... And mm -hmm. locked up quite genuinely. Um, but he's one of those people that just demands attention mm -hmm. and um, will hop in on anything to make his presence known. And that's hard when you're in prison. But apparently in America, you can get social media. Mm -hmm. uh, guess who he's been bothering? Carol Baskin. No. Well, he was bothering Donald Trump for a while. Well, very much the same thing, but indirectly. Indirectly bothering Donald Trump. Ivanka. Nope. He has decided to attack, well, not attack, but jump in on mm -hmm. the Kardashians. Oh, OK. As I said, a bunch of desperate pussies. Uh, these girls have got... It's been... okay. Pardon your language. <laughs> not a fan. Not a fan of the Kardashians. No, I'm not a fan either. And what are they really famous for? I mean, I do admire the chutzpah and, the, and how they've managed to market themselves for doing absolutely nothing. Um, and, yeah, you've kind of got to begrudgingly give them that, I think. Okay. But you don't really... You wouldn't wish the Tiger King on them. And when one of them... <laughs> well, maybe you'd be happy about it. Courtney, it was, was cradling her new baby Rocky and just talking about it on TikTok as they want to do. Or was it Instagram? I think it was Instagram. And then Tiger King pops up commenting on it. Oh, that's cute. With... Oh, cute. Also, please, could you have your sister help me get out of this hellhole? Okay. Not really relevant to, oh, look at my gorgeous new baby boy. And is the sister now some sort of legal, legal eagle? She might be getting a leg over one of them. I don't know. Oh, okay. I have no idea what they really do. They're not real people to me. Oh, they are real people. They're, They're... just vacuous. Ooh, vacuous. Vacuous is a good word. Good word yeah, yeah. They've probably been vacuumed. Mm. So, I'm, I'm intrigued to why Joe's not having a great time in prison. Um, with his predilection of um, the type of gentleman he went for. Oh, to be fair, I, I, I quite like the kind of guys he had as Me well. Too. To I, a little bit, how do I get this? I need some tigers or some methamphetamine. So, okay, my, you can't get hold of a dentist for love and money. My back teeth are falling out and now I have a mullet instead of a ponytail. Am I turning into the Tiger King? No. Oh, that's a shame because I could attract these poor unfortunate souls. Not Ursula the Sea Witch either. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, this, this fellow, my lad, um, he was challenged on this, um, but when he was challenged with, um, why the hell are you talking to us about this? Uh, look at the little baby boy. Um, he further hijacked it by asking her to push Biden and Trump to pardon him. Okay. Two ends of his political spectrum there. Yeah, quite a bit. I mean, talk about hijacking a conversation and making it all about you. I know. So, moving on. <laughs> Just be good. 
You know that meme of the... Uh, Meme. The meme. The meme. meme, yes. So the distracted boyfriend meme. You know the one where the guy's walking down the street with his girlfriend in hand, but he's something a little bit better. It's a classic. I was going to say, is he my ex? <laughs> <laughs> I know we've all suffered that one, haven't we? In fact, I've probably been guilty of doing it, to be fair. It's a classic meme for a reason, because it's a universal experience. It's a universal truth. Yeah. Yes. Men are bastards. Um, so this meme has been around probably since the meme began, you'd think? And since the internet began, yeah, rather. Yeah. So it's been around for a good, like, ten years. Yeah. No. It's been around for around about a hundred Mm. It, it, it's been around from before the internet. This is Charlie Chaplin in a film from 1922 called Payday. Is he buying a prostitute? Well, uh, I don't know which lady is which, but uh, that's the meme bang on, isn't it? That is quite a, a, an obvious, yeah. Side by side, actually accurate. Mm -hmm. Now, I always find this gentleman's a little bit dishy, though. I do love how they vary this meme and occasionally they just Photoshop her out and put some hunky guy in there or something. Yeah. Or me. Or food. Or food, yes. Food is my favourite one. They go, ooh. <laughs> but it just goes to show that nothing is new. And, yeah. That's sparkly. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's new. Nothing's it's all new. repeated. It's all The kids these days, they just don't understand that we thought of it first. Or, or Grandad did, rather. Um, Same age as Charlie Chaplin, apparently. <sighs> I'm younger than I look. So, one more story for you. Okay. Um, now, this is about football. I'm aware that there are actually gay footballers in the world. There are. The finally, finally, it's taken long enough for them to be out and proud in this world. Not many. Because to be fair, it is quite a unfriendly environment for homosexuals. It can be. Yeah, it I think so. Sort of can be. Some of the, the, the campaigns that have been going about um, being out in sport mm -hmm. and the Rainbow Laces campaign and all that good stuff, it's definitely making room. Exactly, and it's not been like that for So, to be fair, though, I might not be a big fan of football, maybe for sportswear, but not football. Um, when there is an out gay player, hats off to you, sir. Absolutely hats off, because it cannot be easy. So, Xander Murray is a Scottish football player. He plays for the Gala Fairy Dean Rovers. I think they probably knew. Um, but... He is somebody who's got a lot of straight friends, a lot of straight um, camaraderie going on, and I've certainly had it. I don't know if you have, but, oh, you're all right for one of them because you don't mince it up kind of thing. And Because um, no, I mince it up. <laughs> yeah, I, I did say that with a little bit of hesitation. But I certainly have had straight friends where you're all right for one of them, or at I, least I've you're not like that. I've had that in the past, and I've turned around to them and said, well, that's homophobic, you... Get out of my life. And they didn't like that. But yeah, I, I cut them out. Well, Xander's taken a different method. Okay. And he's decided to challenge it and go, that would be fine if I was. It's not a big deal and it's not a problem for you. Um, so the whole you're not get that gay and dressing up in drag is being girly, etc. So he's decided to get dressed up in drag. So he's reached out to his friend, Cherry West, who's a drag queen, and uh, getting him made over and all dressed up and girly to challenge those stigmas and say, it's absolutely fine. You can play football and be a bit of a fairy. And I think she did a good job, don't you? Oh, dear. <laughs> Do you know who I'm channeling right now? Go on, then. Oh, my God, it's so hard. Robbie and Michelle? No. Paris Hilton. Oh my God, I got, I'm sorry, I'm handing back the gay card. I've got my references wrong. I apologise. I'm just not that gay enough. Paris Hilton. Really? Yeah, that's Paris Hilton. A drag version of Paris Hilton, but Paris Hilton vibes, definitely. It's not really complete Paris Hilton without a puppy in a handbag, really. It's not. And also, the tuck isn't that good. I mean, it's a very meaty tuck, I should say. That's the first thing you went to look for, isn't it? No, I went Paris Hilton's face. Made a reference you didn't get. I then went, it's a shame that the breastplate hasn't been blended very well. And then they got the fake jewellery and the bow is not 100%. Oh, no. Big dick. 
So, can we just celebrate the bravery and 100%. success of this gentleman trying to stand out there for us, on behalf of us, and say that it's okay to be gay and not be a cynical old swine like this bastard here? I'm not cynical, I'm a slut. No, you... And they're going, yes, good for him, well done, let's celebrate diversity, let's get people out there and go, it doesn't matter if I am camp or I am not, but I've also got a meaty package. Judgy and desperate. Well, that's enough for that. <laughs> desperate, apparently. Horn on a train. Um, thanks for that, Mist. You are welcome. But stick around, as next, it's Mike with the buzz. You're watching Chewing the Cud with Mist and Mike. Now, let's go into the somewhat poorly lit corners of the interweb, as it's Mike with the buzz. Are you hungry? Do you want one? No, I wouldn't say no. It's not going to be a spy, uh, the, the snake jumping out of there. Oh, you've just seen me open them. Well, you could have propped something. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Back on. Okay. The first story is about a gentleman and his daughter and a tube of Pringles. What? Huh? Enjoying your stack? Mm-hmm. Okay. So the first story is a story about his father and his daughter and a tube of Pringles. Uh -huh. So um, Andy Wilson um, and his daughter were a little bit bored one day and had a tube of Pringles. Mm -hmm. So he decided to do something that most people wouldn't have thought of doing. Mm. I've done a few interesting things with a tube of Pringles, but go on. Really? Like what? Another story, another time. Maybe okay. the Crafty Queens. Okay. Well, I, I'd, I'd recommend swallowing before I continue on with the story. <clears throat> First time he's been told to swallow. Right. Um, and this is... Um, Andy Whitson has created the Ringle. The Ringle? The Ringle. And what him and his daughter have done is they've created a way of making all the Pringles stack together in a perfect ring. Oh, wow. So they have engineered a way of holding all the Pringles. This is no glue. It's all done with friction. Even a bit of licking? No licking. Right? It's just all with friction and the weight of the Pringles and like the you know, um, archway bridges and things. How they yeah, yeah. I, I, I understand the concept of yeah. physics. Okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, have managed to create the Ringle. That's, what they've called that's it. pretty awesome, to it be is honest. Impressive. He's put it on, um, he's part of the Dull Men's group on Facebook. And it's, just, it's the sort of stuff is rife on there. Things to just What's dull time. about that? I think that's brilliant, right? People were saying that he's peaked, he's won at life, right? It's majestic, <laughs> right? One, it might not go that far. One person said he's the Lord of the Ringle. Lord, which I just thought was brilliant. That, 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 that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But yeah, all that from, from some time in the tube of Pringles. Who said high school science would not pay off? That science, that is. Our science is not that good, um, <laughs> but yeah. So that's it. that's that's the ringle in its glory. Okay, I have a problem with this though. Why? They've used an entire tube of Pringles to do that. What have they snacked on? I don't know. What have they snacked on? Would you be willing to eat that? Well, I'm ruin a masterpiece. Effort. They have denied all of those Pringles of their Pringle destiny. <laughs> Um, those poor un unfulfilled Pringles. I don't. I, as, 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 also, I want to smash it. Well, yeah, but the thing is, as, as wonderful as that structure is, and how long lasting some of those structures made out of stone have been, mm -hmm. that's not going to last forever, is it? It's Pringles, they don't go off, do they? It's going to fall apart at some time, surely. Mm. A little mouse come in, have a nibble at it. A little mouse. A little mouse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'd spray it with something to stop it being eaten and... Ah, but then you've ruined the mystique. People will say it's because of the spray it stayed together. Mm. I think it's just salt vinegar rather than mes mesquite flavoured. <laughs> <laughs> mosquito flavoured Pringles. Not mosquito, mystique. Mystique. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, uh, moving on. When you get up in the morning, what's the first thing that you do, second thing that you do? Knock the cat away from what I'm doing was the first thing I was doing. 
Okay. Do you enjoy a cup of coffee in the morning? I love a cup of coffee. Is that your first thing? Get out of bed, coffee. Um, yes, quickly followed. Naughty. Why? That's really bad for you. It, 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 sets up, it sets up the third thing very, very well. No, but you shouldn't be having coffee first thing. So there's been some medical research done, mm -hmm. right, that says if you have coffee when you first get up, right, you're already dehydrated from the night before because you've not drunk water all, all evening, right? Your stomach is empty, mm -hmm. so the coffee's just hitting your stomach, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and it increases cortisol, mm -hmm. which is bad for you. In, when it's suddenly increased, it should increase slowly. So what they've said is you should actually have that as your third thing to consume. You should have water and then food and then coffee. And you'd still get the effects of it giving you a rinse through for the third thing, but you, you won't dehydrate, it won't cause stomach upsets, and it's less likely to cause ulcers as well. So your first cup of coffee in the morning, you should wait for. But I use it before I, 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 I try... As, as rotund as I actually am, I, I do try to be healthy and go to the gym and use my actual membership. And I, tra I train first thing in the morning. And, Good for you. I don't even have a membership. You don't even have the membership anymore? No, because they were charging me money for not going and then sending me emails going, oh, you've not been for a while. I'm aware. <laughs> well, that's not their fault now, is it? They didn't need to keep emailing me. It, it's kind, it's encouraging, it's supporting you. We noticed you've not been for a while, question mark. <laughs> it's guilt it's the tripping. It's mark. guilt tripping is what that yeah. is. What they've done there fair. is reminded me to cancel the membership. <laughs> done like, oh, shit, you're right. Cancel that direct debit. But, yeah, if you're trying to train fasted, one of the only things you can... You couldn't have water first, but okay. water and coffee. Not food. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. So, in that case, you need to do water, gym, food, coffee. Water, gym. Uh, no, water, coffee... God, you got me confused now. First because, thing in the morning. I haven't you had have coffee, coffee yet. Because you have coffee first thing in the morning. Yeah. It Water, damages your brain. coffee, gym, food. Coffee is less effective. But it's, it's, it, it, I, I would not be able to survive at the gym without you coffee. Would. No. Okay, then don't go to the gym. And if, like me, you don't want to go to the gym and fat is happy, because who doesn't love a kebab, um, why not share it with us at The Cud TV on social media? Now... Are you aware of the world of espionage? Oh, spies. And spies. And delinquents. Oh, James Bond. Oh, Tinker had, Taylor, we've soldier we've spy. we fetish there, haven't we? Ooh. Ooh. I can't say anything without him going. Ooh. It's not even cold in the studio, I'm just saying. Right. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> I personally would say it's a bit nippy. <laughs> it's very nippy, apparently, according to you. So, um, it's about a story about a, a pigeon. Mm -hmm. Okay, who has been detained for eight months for being a Chinese spy? Oh, uh, it is well known that spigeons are uh, uh, spigeons. Pigeons are, uh -huh. are good in the spy. Net. They used to do that in World War Two. They used to carry messages. Yeah, no, they, they, they thought he was the pigeon was spying on them. So they've they've gone and said, look, this this pigeon has flown over to India from China, and is is spying on what's going on. Well. We know that in India there's some political upheaval in who's getting in to run the country and who's not and all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. China may be trying to interfere with that. With Do you pigeon. think he's been trying to stage a coup? With a... <laughs> that was painful. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> As you can tell. Um, so yeah, eight months this pigeon's been detained, right? And the reason they've, they've detained him is because they believed that one of the rings had Chinese markings on it. Mm-hmm. Right, and so decided that that meant he was a Chinese spy. Not the fact he was a pigeon. Could have just meant that he escaped from a restaurant. Well, it was just a pigeon, maybe. <laughs> well, no, if, it's got, if it's got a ring on it, then it is... A it, racing it, pigeon. Yeah, it could be a racing pigeon. My granddad used to keep racing pigeons. Suddenly you make a little bit more sense now. <laughs> he did. I can believe it. Was he northern? He was not northern, no. It's quite a northern thing, that. It is quite a northern thing. and I feel very at home being <laughs> in the north, but no, he was from Norfolk. Ah, and a, um, NFN. Mm-hmm. That makes more sense. Um, so, have you ever been accused of being a spy? Chinese or otherwise? <laughs> what did you do? Not peeping Tom. No. A spy. 
Um, again, can't believe I'm admitting this or, 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 or being recorded. I've been investigated by Interpol. Who were you smuggling? It was people smuggling, actually. Genuinely, actually, actually it, it was, was people smuggling. Just because you tie, they willingly get tied up in the boot of your car doesn't mean it doesn't raise concerns, OK? So there is um, a, 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 a longer story to this, which we can't really go into, um, uh, maybe in a seasonal episode. But I, I, I worked in Finland for a brief while, and because the airport is so far away from the hotel, they had to get the people who were working in the hotel to check the guests out. Mm -hmm. So I was doing passport control as like a 19-year-old boy and only did it the once. We didn't have proper training and I got the maths wrong and apparently let three people into the country I shouldn't have done um, and therefore got investigated by Interpol. Uh, that was about 20 years ago. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm free. About 20 years ago at 19. Okay. 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 Anyway, <laughs> moving swiftly on from the delusions. Um, <laughs> but yeah, honestly, I, I, I've been investigated by Interpol. I they, haven't, they, haven't caught, they haven't followed it up, so I think I'm safe. Well, and it was just because I couldn't do maths. How do you, how do you miss three people? I, I, I was very tired. It'd been a long day skiing. And tick, tick. Honestly, it was just like doing a tally. So I, I could I, you I couldn't easily count wrong. three people <sighs> out of the fifty other odd that had got on the plane already. Okay, so how many people have got on fifty? Well, I've got fifty three here now. Oh, hold on. Yeah, I thought I thought you were just going to be found with people tied up in your boot. It's like going, oh no, they wanted it. No, no, no. It's more on brand, but that's all from the buzz this week. Thank you, Mike, and um, I never realised I'd be so giving. Uh, stick around, as coming up we have our game to play in our Game of the Week. Welcome back, and yes, you're watching Chewing the Cud, and we're going to be playing the Gobby Game Show. And this is one for you, Mike, so off you pop. Also, Q says something witty. Game of the week. So, we're going to play the Gobby Game Show with Mike. Have you got the ball gag ready in your gob? Yes. Okay, here we go. Uh, Mike is going to try and sing some songs the best way he can with a great big ball gag in his mouth and uh, see whether he can communicate to me the genius and the art of these popular songs. Are you ready? I know the answer and I'm going to give the correct answer just to shut you up. Oh. Uh, uh, oh. Poor Celine Dion, she's about to head to her grave and she will be spinning in it if you carry on singing like that after she's popped her clocks. Uh, that will be My Heart Goes On. Oh. It was! That will be My Heart Will Go On. It's not what you said though, you said My Heart will, my heart Goes On. Oh, oh okay, That one. Now, I love this song, but I've never understood whether it's hello, 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 or halo, 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 or hell no, hell no, hell no. Hello. But that would be Nirvana. Hello, 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 hello. Well, I was singing it wrong in the club in the 90s many, many times over. I think I did all of them at one point in time. Anyway, that is definitely Nirvana. Is it all Nirvana? That's Nirvana. Mm. Oh. <laughs> 
I kind of get the feeling he's 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 being nice to me because I'm the new boy. Um, and I'm not too sure whether I want to admit to knowing this one. Um, would that be the Spice Girls? I uh, what for? If you want to be my lover. I've which... never heard it from Devon before. <laughs> if you want to be my lover. If you want to be my <laughs> lover. <laughs> All right. You better get with my friends, you do. <laughs> yeah. I'll on the tractor, I'm off. It's like Ben Eels back in the room. Um, yes, it was the Spice Girls. Well done, you. Didn't realise how... I, I've were. heard they were a popular group in the 90s. Uh-huh. I've heard one or two of the songs. Ben Sattel. Uh-huh. Could, could you try that again, please? Any clues? Uh-huh. I... Mm, no idea. I don't know about it. You've stopped me on that. The gallery have got it. Uh, what, what's, what's, the, what's the gallery? What's the guest from the gallery, please? The bill. Uh-huh. That'll have the bill. What, 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 what popular group did the bill? Or is that the name of the band? What's the Oh. Is it an ITV thing? I don't do, oh. ten, don't, don't do ITV. It was very popular in the early 90s, the bill. Ooh. I thought they did Juliet Bravo. Well, oh, I don't find one. <laughs> My hat one. All right, f down with it then. La 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 la. Again, please. La 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 la. Outcast. Not a, not not a clue. Red car. Mm. What? Red car. Red cars. Yeah. <laughs> Could you try it with a kazoo? <laughs> At least I can play a kazoo. <laughs> uh, uh, we're getting a guest from the gallery. A guest from the gallery, please. Yes. It was Billie Jean by Michael Jackson. Uh, no. No. No, no, no. No. Oh. It wasn't on the History album, was it? No. Oh. You know, you, you know when uh, Peter Kay did his video, and you still think like that. That's got some very dodgy people in it. It's not quite as joyous on the rewatch. Oh, no. That there's, there's, there's. I mean, it is very uplifting and very fun as you, as you go along doing that. But yeah, it's a, it's, it's a regrettable moment I feel. And seeing you sat there with a bottle cag in your mouth, trying to try to sing the way to Amarillo, I, I, I feel we might have reached a low point in our lives. Oh. Uh -huh. Judgy. <laughs> Just for the record, whichever camera was it, just for a record, I was not wanking on a train. Everything. Everything. Honestly. 
but let's go with this. Where is who? Where is he? Where is he? Who I? I don't want to go. Is it something to do with eyes? Yeah. Is, is it? Is it? Oh! 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 I think I've got it. What? Is it Simon Garfunkel? Um. Uh, bridge over trouble water, or is it a uh, silent one? No, it's not sound of silence, is it? It's bridge over trouble. Uh -huh. Oh. Yay! Uh -huh. I'm good at this game. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. See, I am. I'm. I'm good at this. That's one. That's one. That's one. All right. I'm on a roll. Go on. I'm aware of the world I think you might just be singing random words so I can't win again. <laughs> The gallery's trying to help again. Okay. Uh, gallery guests, please go ahead, please. <laughs> Ken Lee? Who the hell's Ken Lee? <laughs> Who, who's Ken Lee? <laughs> oh. Not. What? It's not there. <laughs> who's Ken Lee? <sighs> well, stick around next, as that's Mike with that science, that is. Welcome back to Chewing the Cud. And now we learn something we didn't need to know. It's Mike in that science, that is. That science, that is. Cool. So, water, as we know, is in short supply. Mm -hmm. Fresh drinking water, so we need to use it sparingly. Mm -hmm. But, as homosexuals, we like flowers. So, what we want to do is create a low-water vase for flowers. Okay. Okay, to the point where you just get the, the, the stem moist and it will keep the flowers fresh and alive. Uh, uh, I love the use of the word moist. I love the word moist. Mm. It's very short. Anyway, <laughs> first thing you need to do is take a small plastic bottle that we're going to reuse. Okay. Or go recycle. Um, and what we want to do is we want to take off the tip. You mean the lid? No, actually cut off the tip. Oh, okay. okay. Um, so we need to hack it off. I've got a pair of scissors here. Got a pair of scissors. Yes. You want to remove the top and a little bottom. And the little bottom. A little bottom. So you want literally just a tube of plastic eventually. Okay. Okay. We can do, we can do this. Do you want it right off at the tip, or um, give yourself some width? You want you want a bit of girth. You, you you basically want to use the the main part of the body of the bottle. So what I'd say is from the the, the little lip. Mm -hmm. Okay. Down to the the little. So we want the line. full thickness of the, the full of thickness. The... Yeah. Right. I'm with you. It's easy to cut into as well. Easy to cut into. Whoop. Okay. And what you want to try and make sure is that there's no jaggedy edges as well. Um, okay. You want to try I and think make I might have already failed on that front. Well, you can you can you can retrim once you cut it off to ensure there's no jaggedy edges. Oh. No. <laughs> it's come off in my hand. Okay. As it does. <laughs> um, so once you've done the top, you do the bottom. Um. Right. A, a, there's a very jaggedy bit here, but we'll have to cope. Well, you can trim once you cut off. That's what I'm doing. That's right. Bottom's a little bit stiffer. It, it, it is a, a very firm bottom. It's not something you've said before. 
You, you want it to be moist, but still retain firmness. Indeed. Mm-hmm. There we go. Done. Okay, cool. Now, that's the open vessel. All right, now your least jaggedy part needs to be the top. So run your fingers around the rim and, and find your smoothest area. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, you have been given a prophylactic condom. Ooh! Okay. I remember these when, when I had a sex life. Oh, bless you. Um, and what you want to do is you want to um, extend it and unravel it. Oh, take it out then. Take it out. <laughs> That's never what I use your do. teeth. You should never use your teeth. You have a, a chance of, of breaking it. Um, and then you want to slide it in mm -hmm. and then wrap it round. <laughs> oh, dear. Bring you back memories of fumbles when I was in my teenage years. That's not quite unfurling. It needs proper unfurling. It needs properly unfurling. Proper yes. unfurling. It's surprising how far these things stretch. It is. Which I found very, very useful for myself. Mm. Okay, so once you've done that, now the next thing you've got is some foam. Foam? Okay. Some foam, yes. some purple foam. And what you want to do is you want to cut off some chunks of foam. Chunky bits of foam. Chunky okay. bits of foam. Okay. Mm hmm And once you've got some chunky bits of foam. Oh, like cubes. Well, little cuby kind of things. That, see, the foam I've given you is in triangular type pyramid -y things. Yeah, so like so, cubes of Toblerone. Like pieces of Toblerone. Yeah. Because the word cube implies it's got four sides. Well, we can be liberal with language, artistic, poetry. Yeah. So I'd say you'd need about two of the, the strips worth of, of, of foamy bits. Mm-hmm. And this is going to act as insulation. Ooh, why are we going to make it hot? Huh? So, well, hot just, moist so, tube. So that the um, moisture doesn't evaporate. Right. Okay, and you're just going to pop that in while holding your condom in the middle. Okay. Oh, so they surround so the, the shaft it. of the condom. Yes. Okay. You don't want it to go all the way to the top, but you want it to be quite full. Okay. Stuff them in. Okay. Wonderful. Lovely. Marvellous. Oh, you do rush. You should take your turn with these things, otherwise they split on you. Okay. At least that's how I remember it. Oof. Going too fast is what caused the problem. Friction. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to create something that will cause grip on the shaft of the flower. Mm-hmm. Okay. And that's what we're going to choose this balloon for. Okay. It's got some water in it just for some weight. Okay. And what I want you to do is get it so it's about 50-50 weight in little in balls. So you want to separate it in half. Oh, either side. Okay. Okay. And then once you've got it about 50-50, you want to mm -hmm. twist it off. Okay, so you've got two testicular shapes. Say it. Yes. Okay. Makes and if you're quite very, envious, to be If honest. you're very dexterous, you can tie the other ends off. If you are dexterous enough to do that. Uh, no. Okay, that's fine. You can just hold them for a while. Okay. okay. I'm quite enjoying just bouncing them on my finger like that. Okay, yeah. if they burst, remember there's electric below you. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, now, what we want to do is, this is the challenging bit. Mm -hmm. We're going to take the condom. Mm -hmm. We're going to feed it through the gap between the two bubbles mm. of the balloon. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to pop the balloony bubbly bits in the top of your water, your old water bottle. Now, my bubbles are too big. Okay. So I have to release some of the liquid. Okay. My bubbles are quite big, but I like them that way. So I'm just going to squeeze them in the hole and, and, and make sure they're firm and tight and in place because I can, I can, I can manage. So what we want to do now, mm -hmm. okay, is get the tip of the condom in between the baubles. Yes. Balloon. Okay, and the baubles of the balloon need to be at the top of the bottle. 
but it's a bit tricky. If you're not very dexterous. It's giving me flashbacks to a Friday night, to be honest. I'm cheating, I'm using my mouth. Because I'm a professional. Nothing wrong with that, to be honest. Okay. Have you done that? I, I, I did it ages ago. I'm just okay. enjoying... Uh... Right, now, what we're going to do is take the tip of your condom off. Oh, you have to put it right, right through. Oh, right, right through. Okay. Because the condom is now going to encase the top part of the whole thing. Oh, well, I need a bit more... A bit more condom. Okay, we'll readjust then. I, I will... Show me about my shaft. Oh, no. pull that through. Nip off the end. Nip off the end so you've got an open end. Mm-hmm. And spread that round your bottle. This is how my neighbour got her husband to stay. Okay. And there you have a low water buzz. I think you'll find this is where we've got a flashlight. No, it's not. It's a low water This, this, this is a homemade flashlight. Low water Don't ask me how I know. Right. But COVID and lockdown was a very long, lonely time. That's a and low this water is flashlight. A flesh and that's light. science, that is. <laughs> that's science, that is. So yours has failed. It, it's an actual disaster. Yeah. Mine's worked perfectly fine. Right. So what we need to do is we need to get some moisture into our vase. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, don't have any moisture here. I'm just going to use a bit of spit. It doesn't need to be much. Just a bit of spit. Right. And then I can pop a flower in. You have to ease it in. You can't just go ramming it in. Mm -hmm. Okay. But there we go. Oh, it's a bit tight. But it's in now. There we go. You see? Now that's pretty. And it's low water. So... Economical, recycling, Economical, ugly as hell. Good for the planet. I, I can see Greta being very proud of you. I think Greta would be very proud of me too. Right. It's just, it's just, just a little bit of a... A little bit of tightness there to pop. Because you sometimes have to widen it too. You okay there? Um, yeah, I'm fine. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. I got myself a little stress toy out of it. I'm happy. It's, Oop. Well, that's a fantastic invention that will truly save the world and none of us are going to die from an apocalyptic hell from a lack of water. You've just saved the world. Looks like a flashlight. It does really look like a flashlight. I've invented the homemade flashlight. <laughs> Slash bars. <laughs> and just like that, we're all suddenly going to die. Oh, I've broken my stem. Um, but that's almost the end of the show for now. Um, remember to join us on social media, at The Could TV, in all the usual places. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon. Goodbye. Bye. Three flowers I can fit in there. <laughs>